Welcome to day 7 of the C Boot Camp. We are now going to explore the stages of compilation. Up till now, you were used to compiling your files.c to get an executable. Let's start with an example. Here's my main.c with a put str and a put char. It needs both to compile. So, we compile main.c with ft underscore put char and ft underscore put str. It'll produce an executable j07 with the option c-0. Let's launch j07 which displays 42 followed by a line break. Let's now divide the compilation into two stages. In the first stage we'll compile our files.c in computer language files.c to files.o and then we'll go through another stage called linkage where we'll use the files.o to generate an executable. Let's delete j07 and compile our files one by one with the dash c option which will just do the compiling. For example let's start with ft underscore put str it compiles, we don't have an executable upon completion, but ft underscore put sdr dot o is here. Same thing for ft underscore put char, then with main dot c. So we have put char dot o, put str dot o, and main dot o. And that's left to do is link those files dot o. Still J07 as the executable's name. We get the same thing. Why do we do this? If you started working on bigger projects with many files and functions, this will allow you to take your files one by one and only regroup the files you've modified by using. If we modified ft underscore put char dot c, we could simply just recompile its dot o. I've recompiled my put char dot c into a dot o, then relink with my files dot o into a new executable. This will allow you to go much faster and to compile less code each time instead of recompiling everything.